Welcome back to Black Skies Reviews. In this review, we take a look at the Joy Toy Pap Assaulter 118 Scout action figure. If you're not sure, Pap stands for People's Armed Police. So these are the police figures that they've made for uh, the Chinese Police Department. Um, this is the packaging it comes in. It's very small. Uh, it has a window box. This is the front, the red background. Pap Assaulter at the top. I think on the other side on the right of the video that's probably the battle for so I was looking at like sticking on everything. Scale 118 at the bottom. So about 3.75 to 4 inches. Um, Joy Toy logo on the bottom. There's the top of the packaging. Bottom of the packaging. The other side. Now on this side we have the uh, pap with the choking hazards. I do like talking about that. Uh, these are not for children age of 3. They are small pieces and they will choke. These are recommended for doll collectors, um, at least 17 and up. So here on the back, we have the same information here on the top. This is uh, product information, company information. We're going to pause and read that. Here's a picture of the figure all geared down. Here at the bottom is a product statement. I highly recommend you pause and read. And UPC. On the front of the box, work on the inside of the figure a couple pieces of velcro and here's the figure with um, a couple accessories inside the clamshell so with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at the um, figure outside the packaging so before we get started here is a product insert papa salter accessory statement all the accessories right out in front of the character here all geared up you may have noticed here there is no backpack and it is included make sure you get it it's not shown here precautions pause and read that if you would like and then how to break down your figure pretty nice all right first up before we take a look at the figure i'm going to give you some precautions first impressions um so first impression was the joints are stuck um they barely can move i had to take a hair dryer to this figure it took me Roughly half an hour to get him in playable condition and, and where he looks decent and he can stand and use his accessories. So, first thing off, the joints. These are kind of joints that like a year ago in Georgia product. I'm um, not sure why, but... Um, so, one thing you want to watch out for after you heat your joints up and getting work, and you want to watch out for these little... What they're calling elbow pads here. You can see them on the back. Right here and right here. Um, they're supposed to be up to the elbow. But you know it can get in the way of your joint. But unfortunately you need to heat these things up. Because they're going to be down around the wrist and the hand flopping around. So you're going to get them up about that far. If you go any far on this you risk breaking them. Because they're extremely tight right now. So you heat them up. Get them in a more softer pliable condition. You can move them off that far. So what I've done, you can do whatever you want. But what I've done is, you see the straps on the front, and you're just kind of like a back of the uh, forearm protection. But you know, I'm not going to risk breaking these little straps. They are very stressed right there. I'm not going to go any farther. So be aware of that. As we go through the video, I'll point out other things to watch out for. Also, so please continue to watch the video if you're looking to buy this figure, so you can, you know, what you're going to expect when you get yours. But I bet you when you get yours, you're going to have stuck joints and do not break your figure because you do not get extra uh, joints to fix it. They give the instructions, but no extra joints. So it's kind of odd, right? So with that being said, let's take a look at the head sculpt. Okay, here he is. We have a Chinese character. Um, kind of cower, like looking downward at the um, in his eyes, but normal mouth, painted face, painted hair is all black. Pretty decent. Too bad. Uh, a good bit of sculpting going on here on his chest, on his vest. Emerald clips, radio. This is like a tan. Of, uh, and then we have some more pouches here on his side. I'm sure if his arm is getting in the way of the shadow. Yeah, so you have pouches here. There's a piece of peg here for his backpack, which we'll get to that here in a bit. There's an issue with that um, pouch here. Pretty cool. So moving down the figure, 
we have a belt and then we have thigh pads now you see these little pieces here they're connected to the this belt so that's going to limit your articulation um also on this part you can see how it kind of is crooked if you kind of want to get that in a more presentable position you've got to like move your thigh pads up and down and when you do that one goes up one goes down it's kind of a headache to go straight and then especially if you do this see that belt move and that gives you some awkward looking i guess a sideward um appearance on the back here on this piece um so yeah so be careful with that so it looks cool let's go ahead and zoom out here's a look at him as a whole 360 nice textures i mean i mean if we can just take a look at that I mean, there's a lot of sculpting right there especially right in here a lot going on in the thigh pad so here's some more angles top of the head um side the back here's a closer look at the thigh pad there's, there's a holster here for his pistol bottom of his feet so he's a pretty cool figure um he is definitely uh, all twisted and mangled when you get him and with the stuff joints so he looks really good as you can see i got him standing perfectly without any effort but when you, you get him out of packaging he's just every which direction so just be aware of that you're gonna have to put some work in to get him in a nice position like this so let's take a look at the articulation he can look down very nicely he can look up side to side 360 rotation around the uh, neck now like i said mine are in working order now you can see if you put the work in you can get these figures in uh, working condition you can see that the arms go up about this far pretty good now mine's giving me some resistance there and here is the old style joint see how you can see the joint it's like there's a big gap between the bicep and the forearm if you can see that through the light it goes all the way around and then you have that ball joint there so this is the uh kind of unsightly for the arms but they do rotate 360 right there once you heat them 90 degrees then you have the ball peg system was up down left right all around 360 you know in that manner as you see fit on both hands are the same uh, maybe i might need to do a little bit more heating to get his arm to go up a little higher but as of right now that's where they go there is chest articulation i can't use it because of the vest the waist swivel 360. now these pieces are a pain i hate these i don't know why I even bother it just takes away from the playability but we're just going to demonstrate it I, gently i can get about that much and then this way getting some resistance and then obviously let me bring that like back i'm not going to force it that's about it right there um on the double jointed knee one thing the the leg hits the back of these big thigh pads on both legs so you do have the double joint but it is limited to those thigh pads uh, his feet pip it down and they go up a little bit and then you can rotate around the hill if you would like i'm not doing that there's no point but you can if you would like you have the side to side also you want to do that and then on the bottom you have the toe articulation right there so yeah so that's pretty much your figure in a uh nutshell i guess if that's the old saying right so put his arms down that's good and i can put him pretty easily back because i've been working on this guy so i have the other three i don't know where they are they're around here in my sea of action figures i gotta find them so i can do the same i'm betting the same uh treatment i had to give the assaulter so look for those at some point one 
in the future for a, a review just so you guys know so don't forget to uh, subscribe so you don't miss out on that so let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories it comes with first off it comes with an alternate head which we'll take a close-up look at that now this you can put it on there you can actually arm with all these guys if you want to they don't have any names or anything so starting off on Mac I can see is they have some flesh tones on my goggles so that may require some touch-up paint the tan helmet and then we have some some gear on the side of the helmet the straps the back of the helmet some more gear here and we have a piece here we'll talk about on the front here shortly but it's one of the other accessories but um i'll go ahead and uh put this head on it's actually uh i took care of that too so the whole it's over the uh, it's not an over the head helmet you have to remove the head to put on this head and that's how it looks and if you're wondering the articulation down up side to side also 60 all the way around so that's how that looks with that on there pretty cool so his alternate head will sit right there okay for his assault rifle I just want to know that these are very hard plastic. So what happens with hard plastic that we know? That they are brittle. Now listen. That's super hard. So be careful. There's, uh, don't bend those in any uh, unnatural ways. So we have like a flat black with a heavy silver wash on it. It's pretty cool. So once you have your figures in working order, we can go ahead and get... A uh, easy, uh, fluent way to put his weapon in his hand. So we can do uh, two-handed. And you may have noticed there are sights on these weapons, but there is no way to get him to bring that weapon up to his eyes to look through it. So it's basically it's going to have to be about this level because the joint's pretty much to the point where it can't go any farther. It's a pretty cool weapon though. So next we have this weapon. It's very small. Same kind of plastic. So it's like what that F-A-M-A, I don't remember, type of weapon. Same uh, paint scheme, same kind of plastic, plastic as you can hear. And this one here can slide in a little harder because it has that reverse uh, bent clip, but not a deal breaker. This one he can shoulder pretty cool. Get that under the uh, body look of the uh, dual wield. You see that he can shoulder that pretty nicely. And next up, you get this little baggy stuff that's underneath the figure in the packaging. It does have a piece of tape on it, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get this tape off. And we will uh, dump this out and see what we have inside. There's a good bit of stuff in there. So we'll just keep working on the weapons. He has this very small submachine gun here. Same paint uh, pattern. Just going to try to put that in his hand and see how he looks. Be careful with this one. It's really a pain to get that in there. Then we can see that he can come around and hold the front grip on the submachine gun looks awesome okay so next up we have his pistol same paint very hard plastic you can hear that so let's take this out of his hand so if he has four guns basically and he can hold his pistol pretty 
pretty nicely. Nice. Also, you can bring it up. And we're going to take it out of his hand, and we're going to, he has a case here on the side, and it can go in, and it's pretty snug. So, you can hold the figure, so he kind of holds it in there pretty good. Um, it doesn't go in as far as I would like. I'm not going to push too, too hard. So, again, the plastic is uh, a harder plastic. But it looks pretty cool. So, the next piece we're going to look at is this backpack, which I told you in a the video there was an issue. Now, when I first got mine, this diameter of the pig was larger than that hole. I had to heat this up. And get that to fit so this is basically goes in there as you can see i'm still trying to force it on because the pig is still quite big and it, now the plastic is cooled so it takes a little bit of work now you may want to um glue this on um if you want to but if you uh do that you're definitely gonna can't, it's gonna hurt your resale value if you ever want to sell your figures because if you don't want them anymore or whatever see the I actually had mine when it was heated close. One thing I try to bring to your attention too is that if you do glue it, you see how that gap here between the backpack and his vest, there's a sweet spot. Watch if, you can, if I can catch this on camera. See, it's actually little bevels. If you get it right in that spot, there it is right there. So there's no gapage. If you're super glue or if you can get this to uh it'll stay but it's just, it's a pain so just be aware of that all right so we talked about his helmet piece also he comes with this one eye uh, lens it's very small it's all black nothing's painted so this works two different ways. You bring the figure over. Let's see here. If we can get a closer look at it. So if you put it in like this. To the hole. Very small hole. You can get him to have. Okay. What's going on here? You can have the upward appearance. That the goggle is uh, on top of his helmet. Like that. That's how that looks. But if you turn it around. And you can get it in. To that very small hole on top of his helmet. This is a softer plastic believe it or not. And then you can get that. Lens to come down over his one eye. So it gives you options on how you want to, uh, if you do army build these, different types of uh, looks for your troops. Very cool. So the last couple things he has is two extra sets of hands here. Um, he has two fist hands. I'm sorry. Two fist hands. I just cut to zoom out. There we go. So if you want to go one on one with somebody, you can do a uh, hand to hand combat look. And then you have two gripping hands. Yep. So that's everything you get with this figure. So the figure costs about like 30, 35 bucks. They're very easy to get right now as of this video. All three of them. Um, like I said, try to look for those other two reviews sometime in the future. On this channel um final thoughts are it's a it's a cool figure to have you don't actually have to have it as a, a police officer use it or whatever you want um you can army build them you can have the head sculpts on if you would like so my cons are the the, the joints obviously you gotta be very careful um if you get them in good working order you put the time in they're worth uh you know having them in your collection the little pieces on the legs the straps i hate those very much 
Um, I, this backpack's a pain also. So that's my three pet peeves. And then I got a little bit of pain issue, but that's probably just on mine. So that's my four issues I have. Other than that, it comes with, you know, four guns, four hands, an alternate head, and a lens piece. So, get a good bit of accessories. I, I recommend the figure. Um, not highly, but I do recommend it. But you got to be careful. I mean, he's pretty cool looking. You can use him in any police uh, setting you would like. Other than that, um, so other than that, that's other than that, he's he's pretty cool. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up for me. I really appreciate that. Comment down below, like and share the video, and we will see you in our next review.